winter is here. Uh, the last video when I took, uh, there was no snow. Uh, one uh, month has passed uh, since I put my baby away in the winter garage. But uh, now I came back here and uh, this time I'm uh, trying to make a how-to video. Uh, how to fix the Calibra's uh, rear uh, spoiler brake light. Because uh, this is the main problem uh, for the older ones, because the inner, inner, uh, the inside uh, on the brake light uh, just uh, rots away and uh, it's uh, just in pieces. On mine, uh, the previous owner tried to fix it with a plastic uh, mold and uh, there was uh, LEDs inside and uh, resistors in the back. But now I, uh, I have a plan that uh, I bought. Uh, uh, blank uh, electric uh, board, uh, electric boards and uh, I will uh, put the LEDs in the right places and uh, put the resistors in the back and uh, solder them all together and uh, make a new uh, inside for the brake light but now let's go and see uh, what kind of state the car is in right now I think the tires may be empty like I told on the previous video but uh, I will try to start it also because you know, one month is passed and uh, I want to see uh, does the uh, car start, uh, does the battery hold the uh, power because the battery is uh, on the car, I didn't uh, remove it. But now let's go and start to try, try to start the car. It's cold outside, so it's uh, winter time. Mitä ei siis etele? So the moment of truth, I will try to start it up.
bike light, light this out. Now I will uh, go home, take it all apart. Uh, before when I tried to fix it, uh, I put uh, hot glue here so it will uh, tighten this up like a seal. But uh, no, it's easy to take it out and uh, I will uh, clean this up and uh, I will show you how to fix the interior of this uh, light and uh, then put it all back together and uh, when the Calibra comes out in the spring then uh, it uh, has a new and uh, working uh, brake light. These brake lights are uh, quite rare so if you have them uh, then uh, try to fix them yourself uh, not to buy a new one or find a new one if you find anyway. But uh, now let's go to my home and uh, let's start to work on this. Hi again. A few days have passed. Uh, I didn't have time to work with it uh, at the same uh, evening because I got home late and uh, the few days have been so fast. So uh, I have time to get a haircut and uh, take a few years off of my face <laughs> with the beer. But uh, now I will uh, take this thing, uh, brake light, apart. Remove the old uh, hot glue and uh, change the interior. Right before there was like this. It's plastic and uh, this part just broke off. And uh, now I bought an uh, empty electronic plate. It's just a placeholder. Here I can uh, just uh, cut the right uh, size and uh, then I will glue them together to get uh, quite a uh, good length for this. I have uh, LEDs with uh, transistors, with resistors and uh, I got uh, red LEDs so it won't uh, show different when it's in here. Well, usually when they put uh, white LEDs it will uh, glow a little different uh, through the red uh, plastic. Then I got some uh, small wire, uh, soldering iron, uh, so a knife to cut these, uh, just a regular plate for where I can cut them. Then some uh, hot glue and uh, some uh, soldering things, the, the liquid and the soldering uh, ink things. But uh, now I will uh, take this all apart and uh, I will show you what is it right now. Uh, right now there is a LED strip inside. I tried to replace it with just a LED strip but it's uh, not very good so uh, I will do it like uh, it should be. In here I put the uh, hot glue just to uh, keep the LED strip in place but uh, I will clean everything this and uh, this gets a new inside uh, with the new LEDs and let's hope the result is better uh, than it is right now. I also took a small screwdriver because uh, before I put uh, hot glue inside here and uh, it's easier to use this to take it all, all out. This is the previous one so I hope the final result is better. <laughs> I've uh, taken this uh, apart maybe two times. The three is the charm so let's hope the third time is the one uh, what sticks. Now the inside is empty and uh, now I will clean it all up, and, uh, remove the whole glue and then uh, cut the right size for this and then put the LEDs in the uh, right spaces and start soldering. That's good that the uh, hot glue comes off like uh, rubber. I will uh, clean the main part out off. And uh, I will put hot glue uh, here also to seal the light because 
the previous uh, problem why the light uh, broke down was that uh, there was a uh, some humid uh, inside and the uh, two connectors were rusting and uh, it was very bad so I will try to make it uh, airtight as possible so no mold or something uh, gets inside so at least it's coming off like rubber why I kept this one uh, because uh, I wanted to see what is the right size for this because uh, it was here before and uh, now I know uh, how wide uh, I should uh, cut the electric port so it will uh, it goes here quite good but now let's start cutting the electric board I picked up a normal ruler the metallic one is the best for this but I didn't have a the metallic one so I will try to use this to keep the right uh, line Cutting with the knife is uh, not very good for me, <laughs> so I decided to take my mini Dremel, I put some uh, cutting uh, tools on it and uh, I will cut with it like this and uh, then I can uh, cut the second piece and then I can start putting the LEDs and everything on it. A little dusty now I can wow it's still holding I thought I can just break it but it seems I have to cut a little more one is almost done now I will Sand it down, sand it down a little bit, and uh, then I can cut the second one from this side because uh, <laughs> this is uh, cutting uh, quite wide. Or well, maybe I can use this one. Let's see. see let's compare this one with this one it seems uh, quite the same so now I will cut the second one Now I will start uh, placing the LEDs in the right places and uh, let's see how it goes on. I will use a little marker for the place, I will uh, no, make the marks where the LEDs go. I forgot that uh, one problem uh, is when you don't have a Dremel because uh, on the 
Attack, I will mark this. Here. 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 I put the uh, marks in place uh, where the LEDs go, but uh, if you don't have the Dremel or something, uh, you need to make a hole here with this size because uh, this is the place where the this goes through. And uh, luckily, I have a small cutting tool like you saw, and I have uh, drilling tools and everything, so I will uh, make this hole here so I can put it through here. Now I will uh, place the LEDs and uh, see uh, how, how they fit and uh, then uh, I can uh, I know where to make the hole on the on this board. I had to cut the holes a little bit bigger because the LED part where the plus uh, goes it's uh, a little bit bigger so it wouldn't fit through this but now it seems uh, all these are in the right place. The LEDs are matching, but now I have to start drilling this hole. And uh, I think it's a little bit complicated, but uh, the red plate is quite strong, so I think uh, it will uh, last. But now I will start drilling. Now it is time to start soldering. I cleaned up the plate a little bit because it was quite <laughs> messy. But uh, now one plate is here and the other one is... No, the uh, electric board is here. I try them, they will fit. I drill the holes, what are needed. There is uh, one hole also here because uh, on, the, on this one there is a hole uh, where it goes through. I will I will start soldering first I will uh, put these because uh, these are the electric connectors I will uh, put them in place so they can fit in the perfect place and then I can start soldering the LEDs I will clean the connectors uh, also they are little oxidized then uh, the soldering iron uh, heats up and then I can remove the soldering waste what is on these and uh, Solder them on the new board. Connectors are on, 
Mm, it was quite a fiddling uh, to get them on because uh, I accidentally made the uh, wrong holes in the bottom but uh, it should be in the middle but now the main connectors are on where the cable goes now I will start uh, soldering the LEDs on and then connecting them and on it's a long job so the LEDs are soldered they are on the board I didn't want to bother you with the soldering uh, process because it's time consuming and it's not very good to watch but uh, the main connectors are on the LEDs are on now I not need to cut the w wires shorter then uh, put the resistors on then put the wires on and uh, put them all together it's a time consuming job so it's taking time <laughs> for you it's uh, short but for me a couple of hours have passed because making the preparations for the holes for the leds and all takes time it's the next day uh, the yesterday was quite long because uh, from uh, getting from a blank electric board to this it took me three hours because uh, preparing these uh, boards uh, for the LEDs cutting the holes, uh, cutting the length and uh, soldering the main LEDs in place it took time but uh, now I went uh, to the store and bought a new soldering tip because the old one was quite worn out and uh, today I am uh, putting the transistors, well, no, resistors uh, on the LEDs and then uh, soldering the wire on the LEDs and connecting them all together then I am trying to connect these two together like this maybe with some uh, glue or something because they go uh, together inside and uh, the wires are connecting them from no, each other and uh, now I will start to solder the resistors on and uh, then the wire and then it goes on finished <laughs> for a moment 
because uh, I need to join these parts together. I will show you. These are my solderings. The, I will hope uh, they are not very bad. I didn't uh, show you the soldering part very much because the soldering uh, takes time and uh, I, don't, I didn't want to make this uh, video a boring uh, <laughs> video where you see a guy soldering. But uh, right now I tested it, the, both the LEDs are working. The next step is uh, to join the two boards together and uh, then uh, join the uh, all the other wires and everything so they would fit like perfectly we fit perfectly and uh, then i can uh, start connecting them uh, with th with these i didn't connect them uh, right now i just connected the resistors and the leds but uh, now let's go on and uh, this is a lot of work uh, yesterday it was three hours right now it's maybe what was it uh, almost two hours so <laughs> it all takes time this job uh, is not uh, as easy as I thought because uh, there were <clears throat> uh, problems when I put this all together the LEDs what were on the tops <laughs> Uh, they were from a bad patch and uh, the LEDs weren't working. So I sent uh, my friend to the store and uh, he put, uh, brought me new LEDs. And uh, now it's all connected. No. In the middle uh, I couldn't uh, connect it because the plate is uh, too thin and uh, the glue won't hold. So the resistors are holding it together right now. But... Uh, yeah, it's the third day when I'm uh, working on it and uh, now I will uh, put hot glue on the contacts because the, it needs some protection, protection. otherwise it, uh, on the outside uh, in a couple of weeks it will be uh, covered with uh, mess and uh, it's not, uh, not working anymore because the electric connectors need to be covered up. Uh, now I will use some hot glue. I will put this uh, gun to warm, uh, cover the contacts, and uh, then I will try to put it all in the case. I hope the LED positions uh, fit because uh, I made it uh, no, by eye. <laughs> and uh, then I will try to connect everything up and uh, let's see if it works. hot glue and uh, they should be safe from uh, the environment what is outside warm and cold and uh, it's not very good for electrics but uh, now I will try to put it inside here and uh, let's hope uh, everything fits and uh, everything works <laughs> so let's go on So the light is complete. I had to use my phone camera because uh, the GoPro died. 
but uh, now I put uh, some wire here so I can show you how it's working all the LEDs are working but uh, the some of them uh, are uh, not so bright because uh, the adapter what I'm using is giving out only 9 uh, volts of uh, power but this light wants uh, 12 volts but uh, you can see all the LEDs are working and uh, then now I can uh, test it if uh, now I can use it uh, when I break but uh, now I have to find uh, I have some uh, extra hot glue sticks and uh, because this uh, hot glue uh, was done <laughs> I didn't have any more right now and uh, then I can uh, seal this LED up and uh, no, uh, break light up and uh, that's it Now the hot glue is on, I tight, tightened all the spaces and uh, it's not looking very good right now but uh, uh, when it uh, cools down uh, then I will take my little Dremel and uh, put some uh, sanding disc on and uh, I will uh, sand this uh, glue to the flat, no, flat yeah and uh, then it should be ready to go back on the car but uh, for this time, if you like this how-to video and if you like the other videos what I'm doing, uh, then give the thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And uh, usual, like uh, if you like this, hit like, hit subscribe. And uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I will put the, the both links here. And uh, now I will uh, wait when I take my baby out from the hibernate and then I will put that on but until then let's uh, see you soon on the next videos bye